Morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess, just laughing at my craziness again this morning. Sometimes it's just, I, I astound myself. <laughs> I decided I wanted to make, to change something this morning. Um, I've got change, I'm like all about change at the moment. So every time I look at something, I think, oh, that I, I need to put that there and I need to move that around. Of course, you end up moving half your house around. So 5 a.m. and I'm doing a, doing a great job with the removal list stuff. So <laughs> I got in to do my cards and went, yeah, I can do with the change there too. So I'm going around trying to, um, I don't know, just craving change at the moment. It's so um, bizarre. But anyway, I guess that's the way of the world. Okay, firstly, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Two years yesterday very exciting for me. I'm really excited about what the next year is going to bring. Um, I'm already sort of conjuring up sort of things in my head about what I want to do in the next 12 months, um, but I'll carry on doing the daily reads. I enjoy doing these myself, so it's really good. Um, if you're interested in classes, uh, I've only got one class open in August now, so um, if you're interested in that class, please register. Um, actually, there might be Two classes left in August, but whatever, check. Um, and if you're interested, register. But I'm gonna do things very, very differently for September. I'm probably only gonna run one class a month and do a half day one and do a sort of more intense subject. Um, the, the classes I were doing very, was very introductory and people wanted more. All right, and the great thing is when you're practicing your skill or when you want to build confidence, Sometimes doing it in a group of, you know, several people really helps to raise your vibration and you can trust the people that are there because you know them in the group. So the Zoom is a good medium for that. Oh, um, okay, if you're interested in personal readings, life coaching, because I'm starting my life coaching back up again um, and or donating to the channel, please feel free. Everything's underneath in the description box. And the last thing is to celebrate um, the two years on here, I'm gonna do a Facebook Live on the 23rd. Um, if you're interested, you have to whip over to the Facebook page at the Aussie Goddess and, uh, and like the page to join in. Um, I'm also thinking of starting up very shortly, starting up some Instagram Lives as well. So I just wanna, I've got a beautiful person um, and you know who you are <laughs> from Portugal, um, who's going to help me sort of get the Instagram one up and running. And I love how you guys give back to me. I've got to say, it's the most amazing thing. And even though I'm, you know, probably reasonably tech savvy, um, I can still always do with the extra bit of support. So I've got someone helping me on Zoom. I've got someone helping me on Instagram. It's just beautiful. So I love that we're able to reciprocate that love. All right, let's get on with your reading. So I'm going to use the um, Wild Unknown <laughs> Tarot News, so I have to keep looking at the title. All right, I've got the Wild Unknown Oracle one somewhere too. I need to pull that out and have another look at that. All right, let's see what's going on in the world today. Okay, so we have the Four of Swords coming out. Oh, that's a bit lamb to the slaughter there, isn't it? Um, I do like that the lamb's got its... It's third eye open though. That's quite interesting. Uh, th this is the um, card of taking time out to meditate. Um, but I feel that there's another message here because it is about awakening. It is about sort of um, putting yourself in that space of, um, of being sort of at one with spirit. But the lamb sort of, has a lot of resonance for me today and I think the lamb is such a gentle creature and it's you know it's just that sort of representation of naivety and um and pureness and I feel like the universe is asking you to sort of get back to how you back to your pure state moving back into that energy of you know being able to sort of just be who you are so there's a very strong message there. Okay, so I have the Three of Pentacles here. And the Three of Pentacles is about investing in something. It's about teamwork. It's about project work. It can represent starting your own business up. Um, it can represent 
perhaps moving into a different stage in your life where you're sort of self-investing. Um, and I'm feeling here, this is what the universe is saying. In order to be successful here, you have to go back to the beginning, like start again. Uh, don't, don't try to perhaps base this in past experiences. Use your past experience as a springboard, but start anew, start afresh. Fresh ideas, new ideas. Okay, so we have the Prince of Swords coming through here very rapidly with the Six of Wands. Okay, so something you're starting out here. Something you're starting out, you're going to be extremely successful at. Um, whatever this is, this Knight of Swords is, is some sort of energy of moving forward in your truth. It's like you taking things on and really sort of going at them wholeheartedly. But Spirit is really saying here to make this successful, you have to sort of strip yourself back and allow yourself to start from the beginning. Because very often we go to do something that we haven't got the right way the first time around. And we tend to take some of the old ideas with us or the old ways of doing things. Now, for some of you, this could be as simple as it didn't work out the first time because you went in with ideas about what the outcomes would be or you maybe went in sort of trying to steer or control. And this lamb this morning is really representing this just, you know, being brand new at something, taking something uh, right back to basics. So this is really beautiful. So you have the victory card, of course, here. And I love that that's represented here with this butterfly because it's like you're being given a chance to rebirth something here. Something that perhaps you've tried before and you've put energy in before. But this time around, you're going to do it from your truth, from your real self. And we know it's your truth because of this Knight of Swords. Okay. You'll know what this is for you because it feels like for different people, it might be different things. It may be a chance to have a, a new opportunity, a, a, a relationship. It may be a chance to renew the relationship that you're currently in. Um, it may be that you're starting out in business or starting a new job, but whatever it is, the universe is saying you just have to go back to the basics. You have to almost rebirth yourself. Forget about what you've already learned. Accept that you have experiences, um, but you can be victorious if you just sort of wipe your own slate clean. Okay, let's see what they're talking about here. Very nice. So we have the strength card coming out first. So this sort of supports that whole idea of building your inner strength, of starting again, of trusting yourself. You know, when you're a child, you don't question this is the lamb thing. If you're a child, you do not question how you're going to do anything, like um, how you're going to walk, how you're going to talk. It just is natural to you. You're just born to it. And I feel this is what this strength card is saying. You know, you know now who you are. You know what you come from. You've, you've done the work you needed to understand your shadow self. But mostly now you're coming forward with this real strength of character. And this strength of character was what you were born to do. It's just that, you you know, your ego gets in the way, people get in the way, learning gets in the way, uh, big structures get in the way, schooling, whatever. And what's happening here is you're being asked to really take what you've learned, but go back to the beginning. Beautiful. Let's get the story Okay, so we have the Prince of Pentacles coming through here. So the Prince of Pentacles is the card of a very slow moving offer. So it could be that something's taken a little while to come to you. Something's taken a while to get to you. Um, I'm really drawn to the moon on this this morning. So I'm thinking maybe you've had some additional information. Maybe someone's given you a little bit of support here, a little bit of, you know, really good basic information, but something's changing here. Okay, and we have the death card, of course it is. <laughs> um, I 
I feel like this death card does represent giving something a chance to to die away before you to give to give you a, a new boost. Um, let me just put another card down. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles coming through here. Okay. The Six of Pentacles represents that equal give and take. But sometimes when it comes up in a reading, it sort of takes on a different energy. And I've got a different energy with it today. Because I feel like here, the universe is saying, don't try so hard. Don't push yourself as you've done in the past. Just allow things to unfold the way they need to unfold. Don't drive yourself because we think when we're not succeeding at something, it means we have to put more effort in. And the Six of Pentacles is pretty much saying, you know, you only need to put in as much effort as you need. You don't have to overdo it. And really this expectation that we're talking about here is not going to bear fruit here unless you just allow it to unfold in a very natural way. Again, coming back to that lamb, but there's some sort of thinking that's got to stop here with this death card. And I feel it's sort of like around your need to drive, your need to push hard, your need to work hard at something. And you don't need to work hard, you need to work smarter. Let's keep going. Okay, so I have the five of pentacles. Okay, there's a lot of pentacles here, can I say? So I feel like for some of you, this may be starting a new business or getting out. Look, Ten of Pentacles. No, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. All Pentacles energy. All right. And we have here the King of Wands, Rightio. The King of Wands doesn't have to push himself. He's a natural born leader. He's a natural born leader. His talents come to him through his years of experience and knowledge. This isn't something you need to keep driving at. So it's almost like you've learned over the years to, you know, work your backside off to just go anywhere. And actually that's not true. And I bet all of you have sat back and watched somebody do very little and get to the top. And you're like, how did they manage to do that? That's because no matter what, they had faith in what they've done. They have trusted that they were going to get there. They know what they want and they've gone after it and they don't have to work really hard to get there. But you always find the really hard workers get left behind and some people, not everyone, but some people get to the top with very little effort. Ask yourself, why is that? They obviously have a lot of faith and trust in themselves. So we ask, you know, that you have faith and trust in the universe but this is also about you having faith and trust in yourself and your own ability and your own capacity to do something. You don't have to work yourself into the ground to be successful. You look at some of the people in our society who've become very wealthy and very, uh, very um, important, I guess, through just doing, just being, not by trying. Okay, something is changing quickly. Okay, we have the Hierophant here. There's change coming with this death card. King of Cups coming through here. Somebody's given you a bit of a, a bit of information here that's going to help you move forward. We also have the Five of Cups. So I, sometimes I look at these cards and I think I'm so used to the traditional way of seeing things. It just sort of conjures up something completely different for me in this deck. There is something that you're not seeing quite clearly here. And it may be that you're blocking yourself with this something you're not seeing quite clearly. Um, and I feel like somebody's either going to help you. There's information coming through here that's going to help you see things in a little bit of a different way. Um, and often we do that. Sometimes our epiphanies, our life changes our ways of looking th at things are challenged by other people. Um, and we start to see things very differently to what we did before. I mean, I've had a child say something to me that's really changed my world. I was at a fair a couple of years ago and I'd been doing readings for people and this little girl came up to me and she would have been about maybe 11, 12 years old. 
And her mother, first off, you always look for parents, and her mother was standing behind her on the stairs. So she obviously said to her mum that she needed to come and talk to me. Didn't know her. And she came over and she looked to me and she said, I had to come over and tell you how beautiful you are. And I looked at her and I thought, wow, this is coming from this child. And that she's just made absolutely this, this, she's had this desire, this want to tell me something. It came out of the blue, I've no idea. It was the most bizarre thing in its own way. And I, I just looked and I said, thank you. And she sort of went to go and she said to me, I just had to tell you before I went. And I was like, I was really blown away by that. And it really, it really hit me hard, like that a child would take their time out, obviously ask mum if she could come and speak to me, um, just to say that to me. And it was just so amazing. And I know people are going to say, yeah, but you are, but you are. And I think that's, you know, a wonderful thing to, you know, to be seen as something that perhaps all your life you've never been seen as. So it was such a, an astounding moment for me. And it really did change something in me, that moment. Um, not so much because of the fact that she said I was beautiful, but the fact that it had been delivered by a child in absolute innocence and purity. And that sort of said to me that somebody was seeing me very differently to what I saw myself. But I'll leave you with that story. Um, sometimes when I tell my personal stories, I think it must be helping someone out there. Otherwise, I wouldn't be led to do it. So I feel like something's like that's happening here. It's almost like somebody's just giving you something here that's going to make you see things very differently. And it's going to really help you move forward. Um, it may be that someone sees something in you that you've not seen in yourself before or not really appreciated in yourself, but something here is changing. Um, and I feel because of that, you are leaving the past behind. So whatever you've done in the past, you're not going to do it that way anymore. So it's like you are being reborn like the little lamb. So let's just have another look at it. There is time needed here for self-care, meditation taking time out because I feel like now looking at these cards you're rebirthing a new version of yourself there is something that you need to put work and energy into so you're being asked I love that the mountains here because it looks like you've got a big climb but I think you're going to do it easily there's some sort of truth being given to you here some sort of truth that's going to help you move forward and it's certainly going to give you victory and help you to rebirth here okay Queen of Swords. Maybe this is the person that's going to bring your truth through, but somebody is bringing in here. So I decided this morning to pull out some new Oracle decks, and this is one of my favourite Oracle decks, and a lot of people use this one. Um, and I've had it for a really long time, and I feel like today it needed to come out. So we're going to read this. And the card of water has come out here. Okay, so the essence of this card says the water symbolizes purification, regeneration, birth, revival and cleansing. It signifies an evolutionary shift for former self to new self. Thank you, spirit. Many myths around the world speak of a great flood and the new life that is revealed after a deluge. Water begins without boundaries. Then as soon as form has separated itself from water, it comes under the laws of time and life, thus acquiring limitations. When water arrives, you're invited to watch your emotions. Know that they are going to be changeable and do not settle on a conclusion at this time. If you feel joy, feel that fully. If you feel sad, allow sadness to move through you. Water invites you to see the ebb and flow of events and trust you can ride the wave of opportunity when it arrives. Natural flow is here. Go with it. This is about cleansing unwanted energy. And I feel like this is what this person's doing for you. It's almost like they're helping you to clear away what's been there before and you're being reborn as this little lamb. There's some sort of transformation happening here. I'm gonna leave you with that. Just a beautiful Oracle card to get. Thank you.